Hey everybody, my name is TensBubba13, and okay, I guess we're gonna start stage three. <laughs> Welcome back to uh, Kirby's Return to Dreamland Extra Mode. We're gonna suck up this little fella. This is the Spark Ability. Um, this actually is one of my favorite abilities in this game. Um, you can do a lot of cool things with the Spark Ability, like that. Um, another cool feature, too, is shaking the Wiimote, and you can also project yourself as a forest field. So I'm probably gonna be spending most of my time just doing that because. Um, I don't like to get touched. Kirby does not like to get touched by anything whatsoever. Anything means necessary to my vintage. Oh boy, cannons. Look at that. Can't even get hoiked by those cannons. Ha ha ha. Ain't that the truth. Alright, so this little section or this level is basically a cave level, I think. And uh, we're probably going to see some new enemies, hopefully. First and foremost, don't forget to drop down and get this, because if you... Let's just face facts. If you went through that door without realizing you missed that, then that's going to be kind of hard to get back. <laughs> so I'm just going to keep using the spark ability um, to my disposal, because I don't think there's anything else interesting that I need right now. I think I need the spark for, like, our next energy sphere, but uh, I could be wrong. Uh, I just love the spark ability, so I'm just going to keep abusing it. And maybe get a cherry out of it. Alright, so also I forgot to mention, when you're charging up, you can like perform like three different attacks. Um, depending on how big your charge is for the, the uh, spark ability. So, really, I usually just charge it up all the way and releases like a big ass fire ball. A uh, spark ball type of thing. Um, and that sort of jazz. So I think I've already shown a fire, but I'm going to grab fire because, um, you know, why not? Just why not? Even though they're going to give us a beam ability already. Well, so we can just do that. I don't think I've shown off most of the stuff for the beam ability, but like I said, you can do this, which you just charge it up. Um, and I think that's all there is, really. So let's just go ahead and get some stars. Mm, yummy, I love some tasty stars. They're kind of like the points of this game, like the coins, if you want to call it. Okay, I remember this. Oh, also you can do this too, for the beam. I remember this section being quite annoying because there's a key right there. You there, Mr. Scraffy? I think that's what you're called. It's those stupid en it's those stupid enemies that if you like touch them or you like try to inhale them, they like turn to like demon mode, and it's all like, no, get away from me. See like that. Um, so yeah, let's grab this. And it'll just be a number two. Like a mouse. Oh god, don't hurt me. Don't hurt me. Haha, <laughs> take that. Alrighty, moving quite along here. I also forgot to mention that these enemies will respawn if you, like, go off screen. So, that... I'm actually not looking forward to that stuff, because there's going to be some rooms where I'm going to expect a lot of resets for some of these enemies here. But whatevs. We're doing quite fine here. I think uh, there's like one more room and then there's another energy sphere in this area. And let's get this going. Um, hopefully try to uh, finish up the first uh, world if possible in this video because I don't think... Oh, this section sucks. Okay, remember in the main story how like there's this guy who carries the key? This guy's really fast now. You definitely want to catch up to him if you want to get that key because he'll just like fall off. There's like a little cliff like right here you want to get him right about there before he falls off and that can be kind of annoying too especially if you don't have like an ability um then yeah it really sucks so anyways let's grab this final spear for this center uh, for this level and we are done quite possibly done all right kirby let's get a good jump here <sighs> Oh, I got the two. That's not very really nice. <laughs> but I like to dance. That's all that matters. Can I get extra life? Oh, so close. Alright, so stage three done, ski. Moving on to stage four. And then we got the boss fight afterwards. Alrighty. I also like the, that, the fact that um, this Kirby games are kind of just like bringing back to the old school menus. Like how you start off the game. Since this was pretty much, I think, from Kirby's Adventure, I am not so sure. Anyways, falling rocks, that's kind of bad. We don't like falling rocks, but we do like them if we 
<laughs> if this mushroom guy was just not standing there jumping like a complete buffoon. So, um, I don't think there's anything else new in this level, as far as abilities go. Let's go ahead and get this energy sphere. And, um, ooh, spark. I'm gonna take that spark and put it to good use. Like that. See, look at that. I can't even get touched by the boulders. It's kind of like just this. It's like the candy, but um, way much better than the candy. It's like it lasts longer than the candy. All right, so I don't think I need this. I can't do that. Um, ooh, dear spider. I'm gonna. So oh crap! No, no. <laughs> I don't even know why I did that. Okay, so there's my first death. Ladies and gentlemen, let the failures begin. I don't. I wouldn't even call that a fail. I would call that just like a big ass mistake. All right, candy time. Oh yeah, look at me going through the world like I don't give a shit. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah, definitely the star of this game. Alrighty. So. Now that we plow train on everybody's mothers and whatnot, let's get through this world with a simple ease. Oh, freaking caves. Yeah, those stalactites you can't suck up. I wish you could, actually. What ifs? I'll take the sword any day. Cause I don't, I don't, I don't murk around. That's what I'm telling you. All right, this horn thing that which that looks like a French horn. Uh, let's grab this, cause that's actually a, uh, a shield you want to call it. It lets you protect you from anything up above. But it doesn't really like do anything to like cover the bottom half of it. You kind of have to just like duck. And I'm going to get rid of this because that thing's about to blow up. Okay. Those items, by the way, they don't really last that long. And they will just explode if you like use it for too long. So I try not to use it for that much. Alright, waddle these. Come here, you. There you go. I'm gonna grab you here. This is gonna be a level, I think, with another um, superstar ability. But uh, we'll see what that is. Hopefully, I think in this room. All right. Get me some ham and some more stars. Okay, right here. This ability right here could possibly be one of the coolest out of the ones that we grabbed so far. This is Monster Flame Kirby. Look at that. He's like Super Saiyan mode. And he unleashes Volvagia. Kinda. <laughs> it's a freaking fire dragon. How awesome is that? But we're gonna be needing that to uh, blow all those trees down. We're actually burning down trees. That's, um. Yeah. The forest fire bear would be so proud of us. <laughs> Only you can prevent forest fires, but if you're Kirby, then that's something else. Rather. Alrighty, so let's keep on going here. Let's get rid of this arrows. Oh yeah. I'm, <laughs> I'm just abusing this flame power for no reason. You can also um, move the, f the dragon by tilting up and down on the D-pads if you want to. So you can control it. That's also pretty cool. Okay, spoingy thingies. Again, I have no idea what those enemies are called. Oh god! That one tried to stomp on me with a spoiny thingy. That was rude. Very rude of you. Okay, right here should be the void. Oh yeah. Opening a space and time continuum void. Alright, and we lose our powers, which kind of sucks. I wish you could bring those with you. But then that would just make this game way too easy now, wouldn't it? We don't like playing easy games, no. Especially not on this. This is freaking hard mode. We're going for the goal. Alright, suck up everything. Get a nice big gulp. Yeah, plowing through those enemies with those stars. I'm a big star of that. <laughs> okay, getting rid of you. I also like how when we're moving quite fast, like the the purple stuff like actually catches up to us like really fast. Like I'm going super super fast. It couldn't just let me like you know stay that way. Whatevs. Alrighty. So we get a sandwich, and I'll just take the spark, but really, let's be quite frank. We don't need no stinking abilities. 
Although at this point I would just abuse the crap out of this uh, spark because of its um, shield. But whatever. I'm just going for the goal here. Let's get this. Alright, got a couple of damage. Wow, that was actually a lot of damage right there. Okay. So he has like... I mean, besides the vortex, that's... I don't know if there's anything else new about this guy. Other than he's just quite annoying. So we're gonna have to finish him off. Really? Another vortex? Okay. I'm gonna just suck up all your projectiles and I didn't mean to swallow it. <laughs> okay. Alrighty. Can we just please... Oh, really? The ledge? Urgh! Okay, guy. Mr. Spear Doomer. You can pull out vortexes all you want. Let me just get one. Bam! Right in the face. Alrighty. That takes care of that. Also, there's maximum tomatoes for every time, so... Yeah. Really didn't really need that much of it, but still. I'd rather take most of the health. Let's see what's down here. Really? Just boxes? Okay. Alrighty then. So, with that, that should be the end here. And time for a goal game. Let's see if I can get a one. Ooh, is that gonna be it? No, I'm not a two. That's too bad, Kirby. <laughs> oh well. I get 15 stars. Alrighty. I think it's time for the boss fight. <coughs> there we go. And... Let's get this started. I guess we'll go ahead and take the boss fight. Why not? Um, but, fair warning. This guy's... Kinda tough. You may remember Wispy Woods being easy on main story. Well, think again. <laughs> He's actually a lot harder than you expect it to be in this area. Oh, I tripped. Oh. Ah! Oh, it's you again. All those years of like killing you and such. You're actually doing decent stuff. Wispy Woods EX. He's actually a lot tougher than you thought it'd be. Instead of getting in closer as I want it to be, he actually has that attack where he like pulls out like a bunch of roots from the ground. And then he just like kind of sends out a whole bunch of like projectiles, apples, whatever you want to call them, and those things I can't suck up. I forgot. <laughs> but um, you kind of want to just stay far back from him. Um, rather than just getting up close to him. If you have an ability, you can probably just do that. Oh god, the sucking up move! He's actually learning from Kirby himself! Alright, so I got that out of the way here. Hopefully I can not die to him. I would like to just somehow, like, not die. Okay, almost down to him. There we go. Oh crap, I didn't mean to suck him up! Oh, that's not good! And, oh god, I didn't get sucked up. That actually does, like, a lot of damage if you get sucked up by him. Oh my god. Oh my god. Tornadoes. Apples, come on. Alright, the purple ones you want to stay away from. Don't try to suck those up, because those are actually like bombs. I don't think I'm gonna die. Holy crap, holy crap, oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. Oh god. Alright, down to one health. Oh fuck. Oh my god, really? Tornadoes, really? Oh, this is gonna probably be fun. Oh, okay. Apparently if I suck up the tornadoes, they'll go away. Alright, that's interesting to know. Eh! Gordos! Pup! Clouds! Everything! My entire everything's hurting. Ah, don't chew me up! Oh, god, that hurts. Here, have a taste of my cutting abilities! I will surely cut you up. Ow, oh, not the thingies. Man, I gotta, like, stop learning to, like, not absorb the Gordos. And also, I'm dying again. So I gotta, like... Stop 
getting hit by everything that is possible. Okay, halfway point. Let's see if I can muster up my skills and try not to get hit by him. Oh god. Crispy Woods, you have gotten a lot better than the last time. <laughs> I just gotta say. Also, I don't even understand why you have purple leaves. Um, but uh, that looks kind of cool. Most of these bosses have like different color palettes, so I kind of like that. Oh no, 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 no. See, if you get... Oh my god, I'm dead. Yep, totally dead. Goodbye, Kirby. Nice knowing you. Kirby uses fire! It's super effective! Alrighty, got him down to halfway. I didn't even take damage from him so far. This might actually be it. As long as I can not get any sort of mistakes here. Alrighty. So far, so f so good, Kirby. Keep it up. Yeah, your goal is to just basically like stand here. The entire thing. And you can just like sort of project everything from that. Okay, apples. Yeah, have an apple. Oh, I made the tree sad. But it's okay, I got this. <laughs> Hooray, I got a piece of the ship. And Kirby Dance. Yay. Oh, yeah. Watch as I make the ship better again. You did it, Kirby! My ship has the oars back! Thank you so much! It could, it's counting on you to find the other pieces and keep up the good work. And don't forget to keep an eye out for those energy spheres. Those things, you know, that you've been kind of collecting so far, that I forgot to mention. If you collect enough of broken doors, we'll have my ship reactivated. There are two really cool sub-games that you can play with your friends. If you have any friends. That's kind of harsh. Not to mention copy ability rooms with all kinds of copy abilities to try out. Man, there's a lot of things in this room. <laughs> and there are several challenge sections that you will really test your skills. If you find enough energy spheres, reactivating those doors will be a breeze. So whatever you see, one, be sure to grab it. Okay, I'm counting on you. And you already have 13 energy spheres? Way to go, Kirby. You actually are some kind of puffball. It's over the room to the right. Okay, have fun doing other things like monitor the situation. Alright, so let's see what we unlocked here. Oh, we got the sword. Really, I love the sword um, challenge. It's probably one of my favorites. Over here, there's all the different um, mini games. I probably will show those off, don't you worry. Um, the copy rooms, definitely we'll get a chance to explore some of those once we get some unlocked. That would probably be towards the end of the LP. But anyways, I think that's going to be it. So next time, we are going to go to that thing on the screen. The second world. So I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.